The town of Corinth is getting a new firehouse. The 23-member volunteer department has been working out of these two locations for years, both without bathrooms or running water. We can't wash our trucks. We can't, we can't do anything. We have gear that has to be washed. We can't even do that. 77-year-old Ed Pospisil has been chief for the past five years. His department covers the 48-square-mile community. The members are all excited, um, and the town really needs it. The town, I hope, is growing, and I think it will grow. The East Corinth station was built in 1961. Pieces of the ceiling are falling, and the trucks have to squeeze their way through the doors to get in. The Cookville house was built in 1980, but has no running water. Jim Ainsworth is an EMT and serves as the department's chaplain. This is something that is long overdue. It's much needed. The community approved a bond for $850,000. 221 people voted in favor and 156 against. And this is the site for the new firehouse. It will have four truck bays, running water, bathrooms, and the fire chief says that this building will bring the department into the future. 10 years, not 15. It's going to be a, probably a 50-year uh, building. The chief says these members are hardworking and deserve this new facility. They deserve a new firehouse. They deserve to have water and the bathrooms. The total cost of the project has yet to be figured out, but the chief says it will not exceed $850,000. He says the plan is to keep the Cookville house open, and there is no word on when construction will begin. In Corinth, Matt Layton, NBC5 News.